In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start practicing learning how to move some of your neck and upper back as segments versus as one thing. A lot of time when a lot of times when we think about our spine, we just think of it as one long continuous thing, but each spine area, our cervical, thoracic, and lumbar spine are made up of several segments. There's about 24 different segments in our spine and each one of those have different joints and we should be able to move them individually. When we get stuck with some of the segments not moving, a lot of the ones that end up moving, they take on a lot more load than they should. And sometimes just offsetting that with getting a little bit of awareness and a little bit more mobility in other areas can make us feel a lot better. So this is gonna be like an intro exercise and it can also be an exercise that feels really good um, to do as a pain flare up management type of tool too. You're gonna need a wall and a ball. I have a lacrosse ball. This can be a little bit more uncomfortable because it does not have much give. So you might wanna use something like a tennis ball. It might be more um, comfortable, but you want to keep the size relatively the same. You don't want something too big. That way we can focus on each segment individually and really get more awareness and start treating your spine like several segments versus many, which a bigger ball would not work as well. So for this exercise, you wanna make sure you find a spot where your skin is so that your skin can kind of hold the ball in place. If you have long hair like me, you're gonna to wanna to pull it out of the way. Um, and then place this in the area that you wanna work on. If this is new for you, you can pick a handful of different spots on your, anywhere from the middle of your neck down to the middle of your back to start to work on learning how to control each area. If you have a problem area or something you're working on, then you want to obviously pick those spots specifically. But what you're trying to think about doing is learning how to flex, which is rounding our spines and extend, which is arching up and we are trying to get those movements in each little spot. And you're just trying to get some movement in there and also try to build some awareness with those muscles, build that what we call mind body or mind muscle connection. So place the ball where you would like it for the beginning position. And then for your neck, you're gonna feel the spine pressing into the ball. As you tuck your chin, you wanna tuck and press into the ball. So as you come into flexion, your spine should kind of push into the ball. As you come into extension, it should release pressure off. Now, if you release pressure off entirely, it will roll down. Um, and so we're not trying to do that. So you have to maintain some pressure, but that's what you're gonna be doing at each segment. And I recommend doing anywhere from 10 to 15 of these, just back and forth. Once you've gotten the position down, you can press create some tension and kind of press more to really build a little bit more tension and strength in a prolonged hold of three to five, all the way up to like 10 seconds. And that would be one segment. Then you can move to a lower segment by placing it a little bit lower, maybe about an inch lower. And now you're at a different spot, pressing in um, to the ball as you round and lifting off of it as you extend. And remember, we're just trying to have minimal movement here. So if I was trying to do my whole spine, you would say my whole spine move, but you can do that if that is the goal. So if you want to move your whole spine around that segment in that hinge point training, you can. But if your goal is just connecting with the movement, then that's what we're trying to do and do minimal movement and just that one segment is moving. So as you come lower, you will notice, we'll drop down about an inch again, as I'm here, the um, placement of the ball kind of coincides with the front here. And so if you have trouble finding how to move your upper back, you can think about a pen extending from your chest and or you're, you can put your finger on your chest at about the level that the ball is touching on your spine. Flexion would be lifting your chest away from your finger and into the ball and extending would be pressing in to your fingers away from the ball. So as you're doing this, you're kind of just learning how to move those segments in ways that you probably haven't before. And then once you get that awareness, you can kind of move your whole spine around that spot um, to progress it. And of course you can pick anywhere from um, just the one spot that segment that you're working on or three to five. 
and then start with those 10 to 15 reps. We can progress by building a little bit more tension and do holds at the end, and then we can kind of integrate it with moving our whole spine around the ball for anywhere from three to five reps as well. Just use this as a little bit more exploratory, not so much these extreme technical terms because it, this exercise is really about building awareness more so than doing perfectly. So kind of use it as exploration and make sure that you're very consistent with it. And eventually you should start feeling like you can connect a lot better and then you can load it and build strength from there.